what's going on guys it is school side back again with another minnesota vikings video and in today's video i'm gonna be talking about the minnesota vikings receiving core and why i think it's gonna be special in this upcoming season as you see i got my oversized randy moss dual color jersey on fit the fit the video pretty well thought i'd throw it on normally it's right there but now we got peterson on the wall but anyways guys let's get right into this So starting off with the main receiver the Vikings have, obviously we all know him. His name is Adam Thielen. I, and I've made videos in the past saying I think Adam Thielen is going to have a monster season for the Minnesota Vikings. I think Thielen, you can slate him in for around 1,400 yards, 10 plus TDs, and he is going to be a huge reason why this Minnesota Vikings receiving core is going to be where it's at by the end of the year. Now, honestly, the main reason why I think the Vikings receiving core is going to have a great year is mainly because of the depth. Now, in past, the Vikings have obviously they've had Diggs and Thielen, and they've been great. I mean, we've had one of the best receiving courts in the league for the past five plus years, probably, mainly because of those two. And honestly, this year it's gonna be different. We got Thielen; he's gonna be our main dog. Justin Jefferson, obviously, an unreal talent, first round pick coming in. But then again, you look past that. It's not like it's just Thielen Jefferson drop off like it was in years past, where it was Diggs, Thielen, then it was like Laquan and Tr Chad Beebe, where it wasn't like guys could step up. Now, in this upcoming year, we got Thielen, Jefferson, and then we also signed Tajay Sharp. Very under the radar signing that he could be huge for us. Like I said, I made a video about Tajay. I think Tajay is an incredibly underrated wide receiver. I already I made this video before he even signed with the Minnesota Vikings, saying how good I think Tajay Sharp is and how the Vikings need to go get him to replace Diggs. Love Tajay Sharp. I mean, he's not going to be a make or break guy, but he's a great third guy a great fourth guy he will go make plays on third down be a very consistent receiver i think tajay sharp could have a very solid year and he could catch a lot of touchdowns he's going to be big in this upcoming season now also you combine tajay with our boy ola bc ola bc great year last year seventh round rookie out of colorado state he was phenomenal. I mean, you really think about what he did when Thielen got hurt. He, seventh round rookie, stepped into that role, really did a good job. I mean, you couldn't really expect more out of a guy who was a seventh rounder out of Colorado State, and he really, really filled that role really nicely. I think Old BC just take another step forward. I don't think he's going to be like, I think a lot of Vikings fans think he's going to take a huge leap from year one to year two. I can honestly see Old BC's leap being from like year three to four. Because I just think he's going to be a late bloomer type of guy. like Kind of like a Thielen, like perfect his route running. Kind of he, he reminds me of Thielen a lot. I don't know why, but I don't think this upcoming year he'll be putting up the numbers as I think he will in his prime of his career. But again, he's just another guy that we have who I am confident in if it's Kirk throwing the ball to him. Now another guy I think who is going to have a great year for the Minnesota Vikings if, is Irv Smith. Yes, Irv is a tight end. But Irv, I think he could honestly be our second option behind Thielen for most of the year. Yes, we just went and got Justin Jefferson. That's where all the hype's around. I get it. Jefferson, he's going to be a monster. But I don't think Jefferson's going to be putting up the numbers people think he is. And that has no, no dig to him. That is not... See what I said? I said dig. Digs. Didn't mean to say that. But that is no dig to Jefferson. I think Jefferson will have a great year. When, he's, when his number's called, he'll make a play. However, I think Irv Smith, I think they got plans for Irv because Irv, you can put him at receiver. You can put him at tight end. He's a really good blocking tight end that people don't give him credit for. He's honestly better than Rudy, even though he's smaller than Rudy. He's a great inline blocker. I think Irv Smith is going to be seeing a lot more reps because he's a great blocker, a lot more play action, and I want to see them use Irv up the seams. I want Irv to be like a threat like Jordan Reed was for Kirk Cousins back in Washington. Very similar players. Very similar size, very similar, like, I guess, builds when it comes to, like, dynamics and, like, who they are as people, who they are as football players. If we could run Irv up the seams, up Irv on out routes, it could really add another dynamic to this offense. I mean, I was just thinking about, like, a couple of the sets Vikings would like to go to last year. It would be a 2-2-1, two -two where they would have two receivers, two tight ends, one running back. Those two receivers are Jefferson, Thielen, tight ends, Rudy, Irv, Cook in the backfield, Cousins under center. That is a pretty, pretty deadly lineup. And then let's just say they go to let's just say they go to uh, three one one, where they got three receivers, one tight end, 
one running back, let's say it's a predominantly passing down. I mean, if you could roll out Thielen, Jefferson, and let's just say Tajay or Olabisi, and then also roll out Irv at the tight end, and then also Cook in the backfield for a screen dynamic, could be really good. I'm really excited to see where this team goes. Now, however, let's just say we're in the red zone and we want Rudy on the field. We could also split Irv out to receiver, where it could be Thielen, Jefferson, Irv, Rudy at the tight end, Cook there. That, I feel like, is something we really need to take advantage of. Anyways, this team has a ton of depth, and I'm really excited to see this receiving core play out. I think at the end of the year, we could be looking at this as one of the deepest, most talented receiving cores we have in the NFL. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to take off this massive monster. As you know, it is very hot where I'm from. And anyways, guys, please subscribe to the channel. I love uh, just interactions with you guys. I want to know what you guys think about receivers on the Vikings. If you guys think like KJ Osborne, any other rookies or undrafted free agents we could bring in who could come in and bring in reps for us. Please let me know what you guys think. I love talking to you guys. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below. I'll respond to all of you guys. And please sub to the channel. It helps me out a ton. We're almost there at 500. We keep growing. Anyways, guys, have a good day. Happy Memorial Day.